Hey, it's Adam with the Productivity Academy, and today I want to share with you how I'm using the Boops Note Air 2 and a couple associated or integrated, I guess you should say, services so that I can easily search my notes. Now, there's a lot of cool things that these devices can do. Um, they can output in your notes into text, take your handwriting. Um, there's a lot of stuff, but right now the OCR capabilities and the ability to search into your notes is not that great. So I went looking for a solution uh, and found something that works really good. Assuming you um, have or you use Google Drive, which I think is most people, then this is probably going to work for you. So this is based off of uh, another person's uh, initial setup that then I've added a little bit onto to help um, how I how I kind of uncover and rediscover the notes in the end. So part of this, I'm gonna show you exactly the process to use that I discovered. Um, all credit given uh, to this, uh, I believe his name was Michael, uh, but I'll show the article, give you the link, um, and you can go through that setup yourself and see exactly how I did this and how it works. So let's, uh, let's get started. I wanna explain a little bit too um, about what I mean about where the notes are and why this might be as important to you. So I've got a bunch of notes and I don't know about you, if you've been using a device for a bit, you may have open notes like I've got over here on the right. Um, I've got some notes for clients and businesses. I've got stuff in an archive and I want to keep uh, using this a lot more and adding to it, like especially my open notes. If I just want to journal something, I have an idea, I just pop it in there. But you know, like I explained in the intro, it was getting to the point where you know, I was like, I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually go back and use this. So maybe it's great for a dumping ground, but as far as going back and rediscovering or looking up ideas, it's gonna be really tedious to go back into here and do that. So that's when I came across this article, which we're gonna switch over. It is great and talks how to automate this and get this into different places where you can take advantage of OCR uh, so that you can then do some great searches. So let's head over there and get into that. All right, so here is the article that, that Michael Mikkel, I apologize if he sees this, uh, but he wrote this and I came across this. Looks like it was uh, written in July and it is a great breakdown of how to get this all set up. I'm not gonna bore you with the details. The link is uh, down below in the description. You can go and check it out. And it involves basically connecting Dropbox uh, and then connecting um, Google Drive and doing this on your uh, desktop or you know whatever your computer is and connecting these devices um, because uh, Dropbox is the one that connects to the Boops device. So great, uh, great article. You can see um, just at the top what he's talking about with how to uh, sync it with your PC so that you can search through. Again, it, it would work with any device, any computer that can run um, both Dropbox and Google Drive. Uh, great screenshots, great walkthrough. Um, go check it out and uh, follow it. And then now let's see what this looks like once we're done. So what's great about this is that now you can not only uh, search on devices like shown in the article, like uh, going to your computer and using Google Drive, um, that has really advanced search on the computer. Uh, but you can also do this uh, on the device itself or mobile if you need to, so long as you have Google Drive installed. So that's easy enough. If you've got the device, if you don't have it, you can go to Google Play and install it. What we can do is just search in Drive and you're gonna get, you have fewer options. You don't have all the advanced stuff, but we're gonna scroll over and you can see all the things that you've got access to. But basically with this setup, what you want to do is narrow it down to photos and images. And then what we're going to do is put in a search term of what you're looking for. Generally, more than one word helps, especially if you've got a lot of uh, photos and images in your drive already. Helps narrow it down. But like, let's see if I talked about email, maybe plan. That sounds like something I would have written down. So we'll hit enter and let's search okay we've got some stuff from um, some opt-in pages i took a screenshot of but then down here and this depends you will know what the name of your books are or your notes and you can change them if you want to but for this example I have one right here page 20 of my open notes like oh okay this is interesting so great that's perfect talks about it i can go back and find this maybe that wasn't what i was looking for i can keep going click on the other ones so really handy and really nice um, and if you want to, what you can also do is you can send a shortcut uh, to your home screen as well. I believe, there we go. I've got that in the top right here. 
um, where I can open it directly and you can do that from Google Drive and send it to your home screen of your uh, Books device. So that could be handy too if you want to go in and do uh, some manual searching. So both of those uh, together should hopefully help you, uh, you know, rediscovering and able to find your notes or your ideas or whatever it was you were writing about that you want to find later down the road. All right, hopefully you found that helpful. If you've got one of these devices or you're thinking about using one, um, definitely helpful. I've already been using it uh, to go back and rediscover things or just not worry anymore about writing and then being like, man, how am I going to find this stuff? So if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment down below. Uh, if you're into automation, productivity uh, tools, stuff like this, uh, you can check out all the other videos on the channel or head over to productivity.academy for more information. Have a good one.